There are quite a few ways to tie the clove hitch, and I'm going to show you the ways I know. The first way I learned was to make two loops that were asymmetrical. Asymmetrical means this strand is facing you, this strand here is facing me. And then I'm just going to pass those two in front of each other, and that is formed a clove hitch. The next way someone taught me how to tie a clove hitch, I call the crossed hand method. So we're gonna go ahead and take a straight piece of the rope from our tie in here, and I'm gonna cross my hands like this. And then as I pull my hands towards each other, I'm forming the two loops that I just showed you, and we're gonna pass those in front of each other. And that has also formed a clove hitch. The next method is called the one-handed clove. And to do that, I'm gonna take my hand and get the rope lying between my thumb and my pinky with a little bit of tension on it. I'm then gonna bring my hand towards my face like I'm gonna hit myself in the face and I'm gonna go behind the rope and grab this strand here. I'm gonna take that strand and stick my thumb under it and pull it all together and it forms a clove hitch. Finally, I'm gonna show you how to tie the clove hitch onto a carabiner. This is really helpful because you can actually use your off hand to hold on to the anchor and steady the carabiner while you're tying your hitch. It gives you a little bit of security while you're getting clipped into the anchor. I'm gonna grab the rope from my harness and pull up a strand and dump it into the carabiner. And then I'm gonna reach behind and grab this strand. And you can see the first twist is being formed there. So if I create a asymmetrical twist and dump that into the carabiner, tighten both sides, I can see I have tied a clove hitch onto the carabiner. Off play.